we see that a lot many students go out to study going to some other countries for either getting a bachelor's degree or a master's degree or getting the work permit but there are certain guidelines which a student has to follow while going for the studies or for the work permit so what are these guidelines and are there any changes which has come in these guidelines that is what we will be looking today hello and welcome to the in depth series section of drishti ias i am aisha and in today's video we will be talking about why are countries revising rules for foreign students so who are those countries that has revised its rules for the foreign students to come in and what are these rules first of all about the timeline first we'll be looking at the news then what are the new changes that has taken place which students are majorly hit by this move of changing guidelines then how tight rules are affecting students what is the process which is followed in other countries and in the end a means practice question topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 that is economy and how india is maintaining relations with other countries so the news talks about why are countries revising rules for foreign students why is it that the countries are revising its rules for the foreign students now imagine that a student from india after completing his or her standard 12th now goes to some other country to pursue any kind of bachelor's degree it can be in medicine it can be engineering it can be any other degree it can be any honors so students have the aspirations of going abroad and getting degrees from really good universities so what are the rules that a student has to follow so what is in news is that migration abroad is set to become harder for indian students because of certain changes that now the migration that a student moves from india to some other country country like for example canada uk or us now it will be more harder for them aspiring to pursue a higher education because a student goes out either to get education or to get work then countries such as canada and the united kingdom have tightened rules to seek admissions to universities now few guidelines with regard to the ad taking admissions to the university has been changed by canada or uk and after this change it will become difficult for the students to join or to take the admission in the university so new set of changes as we all know that the relations between india and canada was under scanner since last few months and now adding fuel to this political turmoil between india and canada is not good and the canadian government in december 2023 has issued revised requirements so by the end of 2023 canada government has issued a revised requirement to better protect international students and according to canada the step has been taken to protect the international students it is for the betterment of the international students the guaranteed investment certificate popularly known as gic amount has been revised by the canada government and 10000 canadian dollar that is around 6.15 lakh rupees it is supposed to double to 20635 canadian dollar that is around 12.7 lakh rupees now you for this you need to understand that what is gic that is guaranteed investment certificate so what happens is whenever a student for example from india goes to canada and is trying to take admission in a university that student has to submit a guaranteed investment certificate so earlier this amount was 6.15 lakh rupees so this amount a student has to submit to the university or to the government and this works as a guarantee that yes the student has the capacity to study in canada or to afford his lifestyle housing food and everything and apart from the overall expenses that a student bear while his or her stay in canada this amount that is guaranteed investment certificate after the student has completed his or her education it will be returned back to the student it is just a guarantee that yes the student has the financial capability and the capacity to stay in canada 
सो दिस अमाउंट हैज बीन नाउ हैज नाउ बीन डबल्ड फ्रॉम सिक्स पॉइंट वन फाइव लैख रुपीज टू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सेवन लैख रुपीज सो टिल नाउ द स्टूडेंट हु वॉज गोइंग फ्रॉम इंडिया टू कैनेडा टू स्टडी टिल नाउ दैट स्टूडेंट हैज टू सबमिट सिक्स पॉइंट वन फाइव लैख रुपीज बट नाउ बिकॉज दिस अमाउंट हैज बीन डबल्ड नाउ द स्टूडेंट नीड टू सबमिट ट्वेल्व लैख रुपीज एंड नीड्स टू अरेंज फॉर दिस ट्वेल्व लैख रुपीज सो दिस विल दिस इज एन एडिशनल प्रेशर ऑन द स्टूडेंट टू अरेंज दैट मच ऑफ अमाउंट एंड इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द यूनाइटेड किंगडम देन इन International students will be restricted from bringing in dependent family with them as they pursue their studies. So till now, if any student is studying in the United Kingdom, that student, the people who are dependent on that student, can come with the student to stay with them. But now United Kingdom will be this will not be allowing this this facility to be availed by the student. So they will be. restricted from bringing in dependent family with them as they pursue their studies so while studying they will not be allowed to bring their dependent family members with them now this will also be a big change and if we talk about with regard to germany and australia then they have increased gic amount by approximately 10% annually so the as the gic amount canada has increased or has doubled it but germany and australia has increased it by 10% so overall if we will see then these are not so positive changes with regard to the indian student moving abroad because now indian students will have to arrange for more money and with regard to the united kingdom they will not be allowed to, to take their dependent family members with them so this will be discouraging the students from moving out or moving to other country now students majorly hit by the change so who are those students if we talk about canada then restricting total number of study permits or student visas to 3.6 lakh and earlier this was 4 lakh so if we talk about the earlier times then canada was issuing around 4 lakh student permit or study permits or visas but now it will reduce them to around 3.6 lakh and out of this 3.6 lakh and earlier 4 lakh around 1.4 lakh students was going to canada from india so this india holds a very big proportion of students going to canada then approximately 80% went to study diploma level courses and if we talk about aspirants then migrating to canada would take any diploma as the study abroad option so just on the study abroad option they were getting any kind of visa and spouse visa work permit would allow their spouses to work now this is also one of the reasons why people were also also taking their spouses with them because till the time the student was studying and if the student is married then the spouse of the student can come and can come with the student or the spouse to canada and then there he or she can get the spouse work permit and can work there but in canada issue a spouse visa the spouse will not have a work permit now but now after few changes that has been taken the spouse be visa will not be issued now after the changes that canada has made the spouse visa which was till now available to the spouse of the student now it will not be issued and solving canada's diploma mills problem and it is a step that has been taken by canada and majorly the reason that has been given is that canada has a lot of diploma mills problem so canada is suffering from this diploma mills problem on a very serious note so to reduce this problem these are the steps that canada has taken now what is diploma mills problem because so many universities are issuing courses and certificates and specifically with regards to diploma courses now those universities many of the universities are not even recognized and they were not even governed by the government but if we talk about the students who were coming to canada to get those diplomas or certificates 
if we talk about india specifically or to any other country then going and studying in other country is one of the dreams that student sees since childhood so just to fulfill that dream many a times students who are appearing for those colleges or diploma courses that are not even recognized and have no legal backing so those students are applying for those universities or those diploma courses or those certificates or those colleges and this is the problem that canada is suffering from so the government wanted the universities or the colleges if with regard to not issuing the right certificates so canada government was looking into this to that how to reduce this problem of unrecognized and unregulated colleges now how tight rules are affecting students so how it will impact the students or how it will affect the students so master students can apply for a 3 year work permit after their course is complete so the masters students after they have completed their bachelors in any country be it in india and then the student is going to some other country then the masters course after completing the masters the student can apply for a 3 year work permit after their course is complete and east norms for masters program students to come in so bachelor students might face problem with regard to the work visa work visa or the student or the spouse visa or spouse work permit but after completing the masters the work permit would be availed then master students can apply for a 3 year work permit after their course is complete so after complete completion of the course it they can easily apply for the work permit now other foreign countries if we talk about then around 18% of this pool was interested in studying in canada and specifically if we talk about india then a, a lot many students go to canada for further studies then this demand is dropped by half to 9.3% if we talk with regard to canada so the demand has dropped but if we see with regard to germany then the demand has increased to around 32% and newer desti destinations like taiwan and israel are also emerging in the list of potential study abroad destinations so these destinations can be the coming up destinations which the student in the coming times might opt for so this is the changed scenario with regard to canada uk germany australia and how it will impact the student so if uh, like for example if um if a student from a ews category or if a student from a middle class category trying to go out to study and will have to give a double gic then it will be a very big burden on them so this step might discourage the students from opting to study in canada and might also solve the problem of diplomatic mills of canada and if we talk with regard to india that what are the reasons that student go out to foreign study first of all can be they want to to study in a one of the top most universities of the world and then in our country study in the foreign university is considered to be good from the parents perspective and then with regard to the work opportunity or the employment opportunity the foreign countries might offer that the foreign countries might offer better work opportunities and if we talk about the specialized courses and the high profile courses if we talk about then the students might think that the foreign countries or the abroad they will be able to have a better job opportunity so these are few of the reasons why a student moves to foreign university now in the end a means practice question discuss the key challenges faced by the students in india to pursue higher education within the country and suggest the steps that can be taken to develop a better ecosystem for higher education within india so first you have to talk about the challenges then you have to talk about the ways to tackle them command given here is discuss so try to do your answer writing practice and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel thank you 
For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.